Now, South Africa really is the land of opportunity, and even the world's top institutions are taking notice. Earlier this year, the University of Harvard, which has seen alumni such as Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Barack Obama, opened up their first office on African soil. It's called the Harvard Center for African Studies, and we caught up with Executive Director Obenua Aponsa to find out more about the great work they're doing. The Harvard University Center for African Studies' Africa office was established in May 2017 as a branch of the main center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And really, our objective is very simple. It's about making African experiences, African knowledge, African perspectives commonplace. I think often we find, both on the continent and in the international community, when we speak about Africa, people don't really have a good understanding of what's taking place on the continent. I think that the continent benefits from the Center for African Studies as much as Harvard and as students and alumni in other parts of the world do, in large part because it's a platform for sharing experiences. I think one of the things we'll notice about public discourse is that the volume seems to be getting louder and louder, no matter where, where you look around the world. And so we intend for this to be a space where people can really come together, think and explore in a safe environment, creating a real opportunity for dynamic engagement. Some of the activities and programs we're going to be undertaking are things like book launches uh, for relevant topics. We're also going to have things like dialogues, um, talking about uh, relevant issues that are going on, contemporary issues on the continent. Our key focus areas, uh, we have the business and entrepreneurship. You know, we do say that the 21st century belongs to Africa. We want to unpack what that means. The second focus area we have are in the arts. Uh, we want, you know, that you know, if you want to get people excited about certain things, the arts are a very good place to start. We also uh, are looking at health. Public health is an important uh, topic for us. And then we're going to focus on agriculture, nutrition. Uh, these are big topics on the continent. And then the fifth focus is on technology and innovation. Uh, when people think about Africa, you know, sometimes you think about trees, you think about lions and giraffes, but we don't always think about those innovations that have impacted the world that come from here. And so we want to highlight what those are and how those have impacted the world. In addition to the research and student and faculty exchange, as well as the public programs, we also facilitate social impact programs. The Harvard South Africa Fellowship Program is but one of those initiatives that has been running since 1979. Every year since then, four to six South African mid-career professionals have had the opportunity to go and study at Harvard, fully funded. In addition to that, we've recently piloted a new program called Inspire, where we take third and fourth year students in high school to Harvard for a two-week summer program where they eat in a Harvard dorm, they have a mentor who is a Harvard student or faculty member, they attend classes. And the idea is to really expose them to the university experience and to help them come back a bit more confident and to do just what the, the title of the program says, to inspire them to think and to dream just that much bigger. 